In this lecture, you'll learn about SyncMirror, which is an ONTAP data protection technology which provides redundancy for your disk shelves by mirroring your aggregates across two shelves. SyncMirror is an optional feature that can provide redundancy for disk shelves. When SyncMirror is enabled, it's enabled at the aggregate level, and the aggregate that it is enabled for is made up of two mirrored sets of disks on two different shelves. Because it's mirrored across two different sets of disks, you need twice as many disks to make a SyncMirror aggregate as a non-SyncMirrored aggregate. So this is why sync mirror is optional because it does require twice the amount of disks. You can enable sync mirror for selected aggregates on a system, or you could enable it for all of them or for none of them. Along with controller high availability, sync mirror is the enabling technology for Metro cluster, which is an HA solution that works across two different buildings. Sync mirror is always used on Metro cluster systems. It's optional on non-Metro cluster systems. So looking at how sync mirror works, the two different mirrored sets of disks that make up a sync mirror aggregate are called plexes. And the two plexes are on different shelves connected to the system with separate cables. When you configure a sync mirror aggregate, the ONTAP system will automatically select the right disks for you. Mirrored aggregates cannot have more than two plexes. So you can mirror an aggregate across two sets of disks. You can't mirror it across three or more sets of disks. And a normal non-sync mirrored aggregate has one plex. So normal aggregate, one plex. A sync mirrored aggregate, two plexes, where each plex is identical. To configure sync mirror, the disks must be divided into two pools named pool zero and pool one. Disks for the first plex in each sync mirror aggregate are assigned from pool zero and disks for the second plex are assigned from pool one. When disk auto assignment is turned on, which it is by default, all disks are assigned to pool zero. So in a normal system, out of the box, all of your disks are going to be in pool zero and your aggregates are not going to be sync mirrored by default. To configure sync mirror, you have to disable auto assignment of your disks and manually assign half the disks to pool zero and the other half to pool one. So let's walk through an example of this. Starting off with a normal system where we're not using sync mirror. So we've got a new system out of the factory. It's got aggregate zero on there, which has got vol zero in it with our system information. And it is not going to be sync mirrored by default. So you can see here on a standard system, straight out of the box, we've got aggregate zero, which has got a single plex, plex zero, which is made up of disks from pool zero. And all of our spare disks in the system are in pool zero as well. Then let's say that you as the administrator configure your first aggregate, which is aggregate one. Again, we're not using sync mirror yet. So when you do that, the aggregate is not going to be sync mirrored by default, and it's going to be made up of disks, all of which came from the spare disks, which are all in pool zero. And because that aggregate is not sync mirrored, it just has a single plex. So you can see here that aggregate, it can have multiple RAID groups, but they're not mirrored to another shelf. So that's just a standard non-sync mirrored aggregate. All the disks are in a single plex then we decide that we want to sync mirror aggregate one. So to do that right now, you can see that all of the spare disks are in pool zero. Well, to make it a sync mirrored aggregate, we, used, we need to use disks that are in pool one. So what we need to do is turn off the disk auto assignment and manually have half of the disks in pool zero, the other half of the disks in pool one. We're now going to be able to configure that sync mirror aggregate. So when we do that, what the ONTAP system does is it makes another copy of the aggregate. 
So in that aggregate one, aggregate one, we've got plex zero and we've also got plex one. Plex zero and plex one contain exactly the same data. So they are a mirror copy of each other. So you can see there that we're using twice the number of disks now to be able to mirror those disks onto plex one. If a plex fails, then data requests will be serviced by the remaining plex. If I just go back a slide, you can see now that we do have that data mirrored across the two different plexes. So if one plex fails, that's okay. We've still got the other plex there, which can serve the clients. When the failed plex is repaired, the two plexes will automatically resync with each other. If the plex can't be repaired, then how you get that aggregate back to a sync mirrored aggregate again is by destroying the failed plex and then recreate, recreating the sync mirror with new disks from the relevant pool again. Thanks for watching. If you want to get hands on practice with NetApp storage for free on your laptop, then you can download my free ebook, which you can see above my head right now. Also check out my NetApp Storage Complete course, which will teach you everything you could possibly want to know about ONTAP. Thanks.